All right, guys, so today we're gonna to talk about prime factorization, and this is one of the ways that they might ask you about prime factorization on the STAR test. So the question says, what is the prime factorization of 140? So basically they're saying which of these is multiplies to equal 140 using only prime numbers. And remember, prime numbers are only multiplied to get one times itself. So numbers like two, one times two is two. Okay, numbers like three, one times three is three. Numbers like five, one times five is five. Those are the only numbers we could multiply to get that number. So those are prime numbers because they only have two factors. Okay, so we're gonna break these answer choices down and it's really important that we are making sure they only have prime numbers. So before I even start multiplying, I'm just gonna check and see if the numbers in the problem are all prime. So looking at answer choice A, I have four times five times seven. So I have to check and see, are these three numbers prime? Well, can I break four down? Yes, two times two. And because I can break four down into something besides one times four, that makes it a composite number. And so because it is a composite number, it cannot be prime, and therefore A could not be a right answer. Okay, so let's check B. So right now we're not multiplying, we're just checking for those prime numbers. So we have a two, a five, and a seven. So I know that all of these are prime because the only thing that multiplies to get two is one times two. The only thing that multiplies to get five is one times five. And the only thing that multiplies to get seven is one times seven. So these are all good primes, so I'm gonna leave that as an option. So looking at answer choice C, I have two to the power of two times 35. Well, we've already said that two is a good prime number, but is 35 a prime number? Can I multiply to get 35? Yes, five times seven is 35. So because that's an option other than one times 35, this is a composite number, and therefore C could not be a prime factorization of 140. Okay, looking at answer choice D, looking at answer choice D, we have two times seven times 10. So again, we have already said that two is prime because one times two is two, and then seven is prime, one times seven is seven, and so now we have to think about 10. So can I multiply to get 10 other than one times 10? Yes, I could say two times five. Because I can break down 10, it is a composite number and therefore could not be a prime factorization. So really my only answer that makes sense is answer B. And just to make sure that when we multiply it, it equals 140, we're gonna work this out. So we're gonna work it out just like PEMDAS. So I have exponents and I have multiplication. So I know exponent comes first. So I'm gonna start with two squared. And remember two squared is like saying two times two, which we know is four. So instead of two squared, I'm gonna mark it out and write four. And then we have four times five times seven. So now I can multiply, I remember we're multiplying left to right. So I box my first one, four times five is 20. Mark it out, bring down the rest of my problem. 20 times seven is 140. That is the answer we were looking for and it used all prime numbers. So B is the best answer choice. Okay, B is the best answer choice. Today's magic word is plain, plain.